Today, we're updating our label editor software. I have an older version of the software and I need to update it to the newest version. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And the best practice, the best way to do that is to actually use the install wizard for the newest version. It'll prompt you to uninstall the old version before installing the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we can go to our website, which is labelworks.epson.com and you'll get this here. Okay, on the top, we're gonna scroll to the support tab and then scroll down and you will see software driver and app downloads. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, now once you're there, you're gonna go ahead and see the software version. The newest one's gonna be right at the top. It's 2.04, so we're gonna go ahead and select to download that. Now I've already downloaded it just to save us a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna go over here to my downloads, which once you've downloaded it, it'll show up here. Okay, so now you can see the label editor, it's a zipped folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that, and it's gonna open up my browser window. Okay, so now you can see I've got my, uh, the app here, the uh, download, so I'm gonna release, I'm gonna launch that, and now you'll see it's giving me a whole bunch of different features. So the one that we want to actually run is the setup, and it'll either say setup.exe or it'll say setup application. So that's the one that we want to run. Okay, so that's here. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click on that and it's going to open that. All right, so now you'll see it gives you this pop-up that I told you about. It says you have to uninstall the old versions before you install the new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so now it's gonna start that uninstall process right away. So you can see it's already well on its way to doing that. Wonderful, it says, do you wanna completely remove this? Yes, I do. Now, something to note here, even though you're installing the program and all of its features, it is still going to keep any files that you've created and saved on your computer, those won't be touched. So don't worry, all the label templates that you've created in the past will still be in the same file that you've had them in this whole time. So we'll just kind of let the install wizard do its thing. Now the software install and uninstall is a two part process. So part one is the software itself. So it's going to install that. Okay. Then it's going to pause for a beat and then it'll open up again and it'll have you prompt you to install or uninstall the drivers okay so I'm just finishing with the software part here we can go ahead and click finish and then you'll see that it's gonna go ahead and automatically start and give me that driver uninstall okay and it is important to do both parts both again for the uninstall and the reinstall we want to make sure that it's getting everything out and then gets everything back in all right, so now we can go ahead and select uh, remove and we wanna uninstall the printer drivers. It says, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so now you'll see it's gonna give me a list of all the printers that I have installed for this. So of course, I wanna uninstall all of them that I have. You can see I've got a couple here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select all and then remove. Perfect. Okay, so now after it's done removing all that, it says uninstall complete and it's going to prompt you to restart your computer system. Now this is an important step. I don't know how familiar you are with computers, but typically anytime you delete something, it's going to kick most of it out of there, but it doesn't actually fully remove all of the files until the next time you restart your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Restart your computer and meet me back. 